Well, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Life Insurance Academy podcast. I'm in studio today with my two best buds, Zach McElwain, Chris Ball. This is the first time we've actually sat down like this, the three of us, in a little while. Yeah. Um, they didn't have food on the table. <laughs> exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. We're uh, excited to be back with you today. Today, we've got a, a really cool episode. A lot has changed in the industry um, over the past two years with um, the transition that a lot of insurance companies made because of the need for remote sales due to the pandemic. Um, insurance companies started providing a lot of um, service services and enhancements to their processes, to applications, to make things easier in a remote format so that you, you don't have to be face-to-face. Um, initially, when this happened, everybody freaked out. You know, yeah. the pandemic, everyone mm-hmm. freaked out over it. We didn't know how we were going to survive. People thought they were getting ready to jump off bridges. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of things. But what the, the, the thing that came out the other side of it was a lot of enhancements that now people are taking advantage of, and the industry is absolutely on fire. It's, it's exploding. Insane. It's like real estate market, insurance market, northeast <laughs> on a graph. It's yeah. just it's it's just nuts. It's bonkers. So if you're listening to this podcast for the first time today, it's a great industry to oh. be in. No better time to get in. But today we're talking about something that has uh, has really taken hold, and that's telesales or remote sales, sales over the phone or virtual mm-hmm. sales yeah. uh, in a non-face-to-face environment. So we're just going to do some straight talk about telesales today. I like that. Straight talk. Straight talk. Mm. Yeah. Just Pulling the curtain back. <laughs> And diving into what this is all about, what the opportunity is mm. for agents, uh, what roadblocks potentially, yeah. what things they need to consider if you're starting, um, what is the sequence of your priority of integrating into a system like that that allows you to sell remotely. Um, let's just jump into some of that stuff. So what's the first thing we need to talk about, man, when we're talking about yeah. telesales? Well, um, let, go ahead. Let's talk about the obvious, right? Like when this, when this happened... Um, in, in jobs period, a lot of people um, were removed from their jobs or their roles mm-hmm. were eliminated or companies weren't able to stay open. So you have all these people that are now working for home, their children are home, their families are home, um, and they're looking for work. And I think that has contributed so much to the insurance opportunity um, to be able to have a job to be able to sell over the phone. Typically, you didn't really have a choice. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of agents that were traditionally in the business, probably a lot of people that are listening to this now, had their own way or their own custom niche that they uh, Mm -hmm. specialized in, and that was the only way that they thought they would ever be able to conduct business. Yeah. Um, Some, uh, us personally, in a way, right? Right. Um, And we were also kind of uh, a little resistant, but forced and encouraged to adapt to this environment. Uh, I know we all hit the phones, and we were all successful, and it it blew us uh, kind of out of the water as far as what we thought was possible. But the cool thing with this whole telesales is this the opportunity to now invite people to the industry mm-hmm. and have a work from home opportunity whether a quarter time part time three quarters time full time really whatever you want to put into it and it's extremely profitable opportunity which is really exciting when it comes to expanding your agency and expanding your business and what's available for people to make money from home I never thought about quarter time before. Well, you know, it's we were you know quarter time, three quarter time. I've never even heard of it. Hour quarter time. Yeah, I got a quarter time job. Um, Yeah, ten hours a week, right? Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And we had a conversation with an agent today talking about uh, the opportunity for people, and uh, it's pretty cool that you could sell one to two applications a week. A week, one to two, and increase your your income by fifty to seventy five thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Yeah. By just doing one to two a week. Yeah. So you have a, a teacher mm-hmm. who's, you know, trying to figure out what they want to do and transition and they're like, Hey, I can only do this on the weekends. Okay, well we can we can help you do that. So Yeah. 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 I mean is... teacher's a great example. I mean, l- look at the summers off. Oh yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean and, and it could be anybody. Anybody working uh, a Monday through Friday job mm-hmm. or they have nights and weekends off. Or if they work nights and weekends or third shift, they can sleep in, wake up at noon, and pick up the phone. Well, this is the beauty of it, too. Like, even, uh, you know, you get home, you're having dinner with your family, um, your your spouse is doing their thing. You can pick up leads on the East Coast at 7 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Or you can work in the East Coast and then call people on the West Coast and catch the, the hour change, you know. Yeah. From, well, the three-hour change. Yeah, yeah, three hours. And, you know, work more. So there's it's it's incredible 
what's what's opened up here. Now, as far as our conversation, and uh, we want to we want to give value and give pointers here. Um, no, it's it's kind of a question of what's you know what's first the chicken or the egg, but it all it all starts with leads. It yeah. really does. It all starts with leads, and that landscape has changed <coughs> dramatically for agents who who are used to. What well, I mean, what's been the king of leads forever? Well, it depends. I mean, um, a lot of people think um, direct mail right. is mm-hmm. a lead. Um, some people think referrals is the only lead, um, or going to networking events is the only lead. So everybody's kind of stuck in their own ways of sorts. But the, but the, I will say the one thing that's consistent with that comment, Chris, is whatever your lead source is, you generally believe that's the only viable lead right. source. Mm-hmm. Or it's the best. Exactly. It's the yes. best. And I and really, I can't do it unless I have this type of lead. Yes, yes. There's and not very many people right. selling insurance in multiple ways using multiple types of leads. But I think we're seeing that change now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we've seen, I mean, direct mail... People say it's it's the most qualified. They're paying anywhere from what thirty five dollars a lead, thirty five dollars to eighty five to one hundred and ten, <laughs> yeah. depending on the type of lead, right. final expense, mortgage protection. Correct. The range is wacky. Yeah. And the the interesting part about that is that that can create a barrier to entry for people who are who are coming into the industry. Yeah. And because of the uh, the telesales opportunity, leads have changed dramatically. And Guys, I'm telling you what, that internet is going to be a thing. <laughs> I'm not an expert, but it's going places. That, internet's going that places. internet, if I were to bet on something, I would bet on the internet. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because people are generating leads on on the internet. I mean, I know I sound really old, but I'm joking. I'm joking when I say this, but just the, the avenue of leads. He looks at me and says, I know I sound really old. <laughs> <laughs> Because we were talking about my gray hair this morning, but oh my gosh. Um, the the uh, expansion of lead development mm-hmm. through landing pages, you know, through instant whatever, through internet life leads, just Google, general Facebook, life leads, everything, the, yeah, you name it. It has uh, it really has lowered the barrier to entry. I mean, we're seeing lead costs that could range from three dollars a lead all the way up to like you said, one hundred and ten, depending on the qualification of the lead. But if you're going to start somewhere, you got to start with leads. I think one of the I think one of the big things that people think about when they think about a career in life insurance sales, they think, okay, well, they knew somebody who used to do it, mm-hmm. or their dad, or their uncle, or somebody had an insurance agency, and it was only one way that they did things. And you got to know a lot of people, you got to network, you got to go to the referral events, the networking events, and you got to talk to all your family and friends and. That's not so attractive, you know. It's it it may initially look okay, and you get in, and then there's a big churn on the other side of it. But the minute that you put leads that are available through an aggregator or through a company like like what we have available, and you can come in and get multiple lead sources, whether it's direct mail, yeah, age direct mail, uh, digital, uh, Facebook leads, Google leads, live transfers. I mean, there's there's just so many different options out there that that are available now. You can be that teacher. You can mm-hmm. be a nurse. You can be a, a, literally a contractor and come home and two or three nights a week, get on the phone and do three appointments and write two or three applications. And literally, like you said, add fifty to 75000 It's that. It's the accessibility to those types of leads where you can be in, in Louisville, Kentucky, or you can be in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. You can call somebody on the West Coast and uh, write them a policy. It's ten o'clock here, but it's only seven o'clock there. Yeah. Whatever it is, you can and, expand your workday, and you've just doubled in it, uh, your income. In right. a lot of cases, if you're making fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year, you can double your income like that, mm-hmm. and work your way into a full time career if you chose. Yeah, like that didn't exist in this warm market networking environment before because people wanted to know that you're all in. But now that you're calling people on the phone, changes everything. It does changes yeah. everything. It changes what's possible mm-hmm. in your own income, your own personal production, the, the the size of your agency you're able to grow. And it's not like in today's world, um, because the insurance industry is blowing up so much, it's not like now there's so many more entrepreneurs. There's so many more motivated, driven people that are perfect for insurance. That's not true. We've just, the industry has, has shifted to a position to where we've opened the doors for the people that weren't fully motivated or wouldn't have been able to maybe make it on their own right. or, or invest weeks of leads on a credit card before they ever even know That's if they I could did. sell anything. Starting out, mm-hmm. me too. You know, it lowers that barrier, but also leads are getting so good that you don't you don't have to be, you know, the 
the you know valedictorian of your high school to be a, to an agency owner. Yeah. You, know, you don't have to, and it's it's so cool now, you know, to see that. Yeah. Zach, we talked about something earlier, and you said there's really a secret to leads and telesales. What do you think one of the key principles is when when it's considering leads? And we talked about volume of leads. Can yeah, you, can, yeah. Can you talk it, about that? It's it's different um, because you know even me personally when when I started out, um, I, I don't think there was even a mention of the phone barely. Like it was it was just it just wasn't wasn't a thing really. We had a phone script to set an appointment, but it was still a face to face appointment. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And and that was the niche that we were in. Um, and I've got really good at that. And you know it was is what I it was what I'd known, but. Um, what was the question again? About volume. We talked about <laughs> yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, that's he started that's, he started reminiscing going <laughs> yeah, back. Yeah, I did. He was down memory lane, hey. thinking about door knocking. <laughs> He's yeah. like, man, those hey, were the days. It's, what, it's, what was the question? <laughs> Where am I? Vietnam flashbacks. There you it go. Just, there you, you know, go. Sometimes buddy. it just it happens. happens. Uh, but the reason I was telling you that is because I got so good at my process that I literally got down to maybe fifteen to seventeen leads yeah, max I a you week. That. Mm-hmm. And and looking at telesales, it's. I have to transition my mind <laughs> kind because of messes with you a little it bit. Does, it does because can, it's really yeah. an opposite. It's mm-hmm. it's an opposite thing because volume is king when it comes to telesales because you need opportunities. Yeah. It's all about opportunity. What a lead truly is, and I don't care what type of lead it is or where you get it or how much you pay for it, how old it is. A lead is just an opportunity to have a conversation with somebody related to insurance. Yeah. That's literally it. And and, and if you believe it as, as that and you have a bunch of opportunities, um, it you you can't you can't help but to make good and be profitable every yeah. each and every single week. So when it when you're transitioning out of the field or out of face to face or maybe you're used or you're used to being in a certain number of leads or really squeezing all the juice out of every lead that you have or working every referral possible um, as I used to do, um, you you don't have to necessarily work that hard. You let the leads work for you, mm. and the beauty of it is is looking at the telesales side of this business, the leads don't cost that much. Right. You're able to get three or four times the leads at the same investment you were already Correct. making. Mm-hmm. And as long as you understand that you're investing a certain amount of money instead of buying a certain number of leads, if it's the investment you're trying to make the return on, then you're going to be good because it's a numbers game. It's yeah. a numbers game on phones. Yeah, absolutely. We're, uh, you know, if you're if you're working aged, you're, you're going to be looking, you know, instead of getting your 15 leads, mm-hmm. you're going to be getting probably 100. That <laughs> yeah. I, that yeah. number, you're like, what yeah. are you talking about? But but it's true because you can only call a number so many times. I mean, well, it's endless the amount of times you can call the number, but you're going to have uh, people who hang up. You're not going to connect with certain people. Let's say you're going to talk to, in a two-day period, you're going to talk to maybe, maybe, maybe half of those people. Yeah. Right? And, and let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Insurance is mental. We can teach anybody how to sell, but mm-hmm. like mental toughness is is really what you need when it comes Correct. to insurance. Mm-hmm. Imagine the stress you would put on yourself trying to turn a profit on fifteen leads versus a mm-hmm. hundred. Yeah, like can you right. imagine that phone call? You're probably shaking like a <laughs> Mack truck, hopingly they don't hang up on you. Right? Like a Mack truck. Don't yeah. hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Exactly. So I mean, having those hundred lead opportunities or fifty lead opportunities right. or the other factor, Chris. Have it, why don't why not have multiple different types of leads mm-hmm. all at once? Throw them in throw them in your pile and just go and talk to people. That's, That's what it. it's all about. And yeah. if you've got them in a Google spreadsheet or if you've got them in a CRM, like you can scale up as you grow your business. You can scale up and add more technology, but it doesn't have to be where you have to have all the CRMs, the dialers, and all right. the technology and everything figured out first because you'll never get started. That's like, a really good point. Like it's okay. Like. Google Sheets. This is straight talk right here. Like twelve dollars a month gets you a whole Google suite a month. Yeah. <laughs> twelve dollars a month. Yeah. And you get access to all the stuff that Google has, you know, sheets and docs and all the other things or Excel, whatever you're using. Mm-hmm. All that fee- and you, you just you're just calling from that with, with your phone. Like I um and that's been my goal in some of these call sessions I've been doing with agents. I I don't have the the bells or the whistles. I'm just actually just to prove my point, I'm using a rotary phone. <laughs> Now you really age. I'm just kidding. I'm you got the kidding. one with the mouthpiece. Yeah, on the, the wall. The thing. I'm like, Susan, yeah. connect it's me the, to the one that goes here and you yeah. speak Rick into Thomas, it. please. Yes, Mr. Ball. And then she It's what, one of these me. where you you crank it. <laughs> I just saw that in movies. I never saw one in real life. Yeah. No, no, no I use I use my cell phone, but 
um, yeah, it's been Google Sheets, um, a script I pull up, and then I'm just making the calls. And, you know, I retired like 30 leads over the weekend or about 4,600. But uh, here's the cool thing, Chris. Not too shabby. And a lot of people no. probably don't know this, but um, right now um, we're always innovating here. Right. Like we're always trying to figure out what's best, which methods, and we believe in cutting our teeth first, going mm. in first, doing everything we can so that we can – when we talk to you guys and, and train you guys and, and bring you advice, it's from us that's tried it and has experienced it and went through it. And uh, a lot of you probably don't know this, but Chris has been testing all different types of leads all over the phone, all different ways, different scripts, mm-hmm. different ways of selling it, selling it on one sit, scheduling an appointment, selling it on another sit. And every time he's a cool thing, no matter what it is, he constantly has sales. And then I'm always having no to ask, matter which type of lead, Chris, what type of lead was that? And it's always something different <laughs> or something like a lead that I've never even heard of. Yeah. And and now he's got leads where the they come in through different mechanisms and they schedule appointments with him. It's I like, love it when you take <laughs> final expense leads that come in that are oh, like outside of the demographic and like a 38 year old person yeah. fills out a final expense lead. Nobody wants to buy that in final expense land. You take yeah. it and call it and sell a twelve hundred dollar uh, mortgage yeah, protection yeah, app or whatever. Yeah, that's fun. Like, and it's just uh, we don't have this on our notes, but mm-hmm. you have to have belief. Like yep. that's what you 100%. have to believe. Yeah, you have to believe the leads are amazing, regardless if it. But Chris, you, know, you can't call a direct mail lead. No, <laughs> <laughs> I beg to differ, sir. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why not call a direct mail lead? Let's drop in a little seek. Let's drop in a little uh, technical um, secret here. Uh, let's drop in some uh, teaching training right inside of this segment because I think it's valuable. Okay. Here's a secret when it comes to dialing leads. If you got a hundred of those leads, mm. most agents think, "Well, I'm just going to call and dial through all hundred, and I'm going to book appointments with the ones who answer." There's a secret to getting people to pick up the phone. So if I were to ask you guys, "What's the goal when you have all your leads? What's the goal in uh, when you're when you're when you start dialing your leads? What's the goal?" For most people, what are they going to say? Well, the, to sell insurance. That's what most people are going to say. Yeah, they're going to say to sell mm-hmm. insurance. If we back it down one more tier from there, what would be the goal? Well, the goal Not would to be... Not to sell insurance, but to... To set an appointment. Set an appointment, right? Right. Mm-hmm. right. But we need to back it down one more tier from there. Okay. What would that What would that first tier to be get, if you really focused right. on what your goal was in this, in, this, in this segment of time that you blocked, that you got for two hours? What is really your goal? Get them to answer the phone. Get them to answer the dang phone. That's your goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most people don't think of it this way. Most people think my goal is to set an appointment. Your goal is to get them to answer the phone because until they answer the phone, you can't set an appointment. Yeah, that's just... So how do you get them to answer the phone? How many of you get phone calls that you don't recognize, numbers on your phone that you don't recognize, like multiple times a day you guys in the studio you, how many of those do you how many do you think you get i don't know if you 10? guys how many do you think you get have this issue higher than that 10 or 15 i'm really concerned about my warranty on my car because <laughs> i know man They're i get talked to away. about it like a hundred times a the day. warranties on your car are always yeah. going away mm-hmm. right tax my relief college loans, loans, I wonder if you just college had. loans if you, are getting if you finally just sign up for that do they stop calling <laughs> <laughs> so think about how many people call you every day reaching out, uh, trying to sell you something, and then they show up with your area code or your yeah. you know, your three-digit number identifying your area, and you get all these numbers you don't recognize. What do most people do? I don't recognize that number. Ignore. Right? right? Mm-hmm. Well, think about your process. If you're dialing people on the phone and you call through your list and you're not calling back, but you're calling through the list one at a time to get through your 100, number one, that's monotonous. Yeah. Right? Because you, like, your goal is to get through 100. Like That's a daunting thing, so I need like four hours to do that. Right, most people are going to think that. So I, until I have four hours, I can't start dialing. Right. right? So, mm-hmm. and if you're only calling through them once, you're no better than all the other unknown numbers that are showing up on their phone. Especially if you're calling from one state to another state, and mm-hmm. now you have an out of out of market phone a phone number right. or area code or prefix. Right. So here's a secret: if you take those in blocks of twenty five, and you call through, you're dialing through, let's say ten or twelve of them. You're dialing through 12 of them. You talk to three people. You book one appointment. Before you go to the next 12, go back and dial through those same 12 again. Here's what happens. When you do that, the person sees the same number showing up on their phone multiple times within a very short period of time. If they're, if they're seeing their phone number, dial, if they're at work or whatever and they're not, right. they're not going to see it anyway, so it's not going to matter. You're not ticking anyone off. You're just trying to get their attention. Your goal is to get them to answer the phone. So you got to dial multiple times in sequence in a short period of time to get someone's attention. Because if I see the same number showing up on my phone three times in a row, 
What am I thinking? What are you thinking? It's an emergency. It's important. And someone's trying to reach you, yeah. and it's not a robo-dial. Correct. Because mm -hmm. robo-dials don't have systems where they call the same number multiple right. times. It's just, they don't have that set up. Uh, um, and when you do it, and you separate yourself, and you distinguish yourself by calling through a sequence of 12, calling back through 12, working through them again, and then going to the next, and, then, and, and moving through them in sequences like that in batches of 25, now you're hitting those people in the same hour or in the same two-hour time frame three, four times before right. you get through them. Now you've really increased your odds of getting those people to pick up the phone. So that's the number one goal, and that's a secret tip that's right in stuff. there inside of dialing leads. Very good. So volume, sequencing when you're dialing. All right, let's, what else do we need? Well, let me say, and, and if you guys, maybe you're asking, well, leads, okay, great. Now what do I, what do, I do with that? If you, if you need a conversation or if you'd like to know more about it, we'd love to talk with you about it. Yeah. We're, we're a resource. We're here to serve you guys. So if you have questions, reach out. We can get you access to leads anywhere from... We know a guy. Yeah. Anywhere from 12 to 15 <laughs> bucks all the way up to... A, you, if you want to spend 300 I'm sure we can figure out a program to get Dude, you into a $300. Those are the Willy really Wonka golden ticket leads. Yeah, those are all buyers those at that point. <laughs> yes, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll write the whole app and just wait for your writing number, essentially. That's right. <laughs> we'll just sign it in. So there's a lot of work done on that lead, for That's sure. That's a power but, lead. Um, uh, we're just joking about that. We don't sell any at that price. Right. But we probably could. We could. Yeah. We could figure that out. Um, the next thing is uh, you, you need... A script. You need a script. You need a script. Yeah, you have to follow a script. And uh, it should be... I know how to sell life insurance. Why do I need a script? Yeah, see, that's what a lot of people, that's what a lot of people believe and think, right? Uh, so they think they're just going to jump in and use their same processes that they've used. And I can't tell you how many times we talk to people and they aren't succeeding and they are not using a script, period, or, or a and presentation. And they don't know why they're not succeeding. No, it's the market, it's the leads, it's... It's something else, and they they just, hey man, I'm I'm and guys, I'll tell you, I'm guilty of this, working off my personality, trying, you know, hey, I can talk with you about your family, I can connect with anybody, I know you're gonna love laser cats by the time we're done talking yeah. about this, uh, but the thing I learned from Roger <laughs> so long ago is there's a a science, a skill set, a process to sales. Mm -hmm. And that's why scripts are so important. It's a guideline to take somebody on a journey, and that has to be a principled journey. Yeah, especially for you, Chris. I mean, they don't get especially to see what you're, yeah, what you're you. working with. Oh, I, mean, I at the, know, at the man. door, I it's a given, it. right? I mean, yeah. look at you, right? Like, yeah. look at you. You're, you're a guaranteed app every time. <laughs> that's you right. You know, um, so on the phone, you don't have that advantage. No. And, and think about this. How do you think scripts are developed? They're literally developed from people calling, trying to figure out things, figuring out what doesn't work, right. cutting that out, what does work, add that in, mm -hmm. shaping it around, say this first, say that last, yes. move to here, because it's proven. Mm -hmm. Every script has level of experience and levels of yes and no's on every yeah. single mm -hmm. one, and they're always adapted and adjusted to work for the mass majority of agents. Mm -hmm. right. It's literally what a script is for. Why right. would you try to deviate from that? Right. And it's not frowned upon to take the script that has worked for the mass majority of people and then apply it to your personality. And you may change a couple words or a couple little techniques or you mm -hmm. may add to it here, but you're making slight adjustments to it to make you more successful. Mm -hmm. Right. That's that's all it is. And nothing's wrong with it. And and here's here's a a good litmus litmus litmus. litmus. Lit <laughs> it's one of those litmus. words, man. Litmus, litmus test. For your script, um, and we have this on the the uh, LIA website in this course that talks about the principles of sales, principles of influence and selling. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to give them the the, hit, the, lit the hit test. list. What's the litmus test? What, what those principles are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's okay. hit it. You, I know you know. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna lead out. I'm gonna see. Absolutely. You All yeah. right. Go. Yeah. The very first thing is a belief. Do you believe statement. it? Yeah. Do you believe it? Do you have conviction? Yeah. Do they sense that you have conviction? And even in, in my phone sales, I'll, I'll have this conversation and say, hey, Roger, I want you to know I've been doing this 10 years, and that time I've helped thousands of families mm -hmm. put something in place to take care of their families. And believe it or not, in this time, I've had about 40, I've had 42 death claims. I've seen those, those families receive benefits to mm -hmm. protect them from financial hardships. And I want you to know at the very beginning of this conversation, I believe in what I do, and I take it very seriously. Mm -hmm. And my goal is to help you do the same thing and take care of your family. 
Yeah, I mean, so. the, 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 the guiding principles in our sales process, and we teach them in the Life Insurance Academy, we teach them in the final expense sale, right. principles of infl- everything, belief, trust, trust. stakes, mm-hmm. options, solution. If you walk people through that sequence, you will lead to a natural close. However, on the phone, on the phone, you're not working with the physical interaction. Right. You're not working with the engagement, the body language. You're not seeing them respond to things. You can't see how they react when you talk about their parents or their kids. Like you're missing some of those things. So your script is going to be important because it helps you, number one, communicate belief to them and then establish trust right. with uh, you know, asking good questions, credibility empathy pieces. and authority by right. teaching them and educating mm-hmm. them. However, on the sa- on on the phone, I would say that the more salesy people are less successful. Mm-hmm. Would you agree? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why, why do you think that is? The more salesy well, that people are, hey, hi, I'm here to oh, get right. you your yeah. Pro- like, yeah, that doesn't work. Well, nobody wants to be sold, and they're telemarketed to all the time, mm-hmm. and it feels like you're a telemarketer versus, um, you know, a we processor, really, a processor, co buyer. Like even on the scripting side, like. The language that we use as you know hey we're on the medical side of this where the we are the underwriters to see if you even qualify right Correct. so there's some takeaway pieces built into that when we get to those stakes parts and building mm-hmm. in building trust with them yeah uh, to me i think some of the most important pieces to add to that is um and a lot of mistakes that people make is the pacing and the flow mm. of the yes. phone call yeah um and and not caring like not caring, like nothing is a big deal, just like you said. So having the attitude that nothing is a big deal, but yet you're still a human. To clarify, you're saying not caring is important, which is which feels different than anything we've ever talked about. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and this no, is, we don't mean that we don't care about the client. That's right. not what he's saying. Right. He's not right. saying not caring I'm looking about the client. For clarity on that. Correct. Right. Correct. This, mm-hmm. And this is more. Don't get me wrong. This is more in like the first minute of the conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because that that relationship is going to be established more throughout but we have to we have to set the hooks that the yeah. phone call is going to last more than the beginning five seconds five <laughs> seconds right yeah so the pacing and flow of that is so important and what i see a lot of people make mistakes the mistake i've made in the past is pacing doesn't mean speed it means flow mm-hmm. it means you're not leaving a bunch of gaps of, in, of interruption it means you're not asking them questions where they can then um, come right over top and then take control of the conversation. What's this about? I already have this taken care of. Like, but you also don't want to rush because if you rush and they don't understand you, they're going to give you the hang up That's anyways because right. they don't know what's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So establish a slow, consistent pace where you're just doing your job and it doesn't really matter mm-hmm. for the first minute of the call, and then you're going to be you're going to be good to go. It's it's like a very methodical process the yeah. script is just methodical you're there to help them get what they were looking for and help mm-hmm. them apply to see if they qualify that's, that's right it. that's mm-hmm. right and and those those control pieces throughout of even at the very beginning you know hey roger you know you're letting roger respond you're mm-hmm. you're not hey roger it's chris i'm calling from the mortgage protection center you and just running over them it's like click they're they're just so done with that and so used to that mm-hmm. they're not used to somebody saying hey roger no, they are. They're used to their friends saying that. They're used to people they know saying that, you know? Yeah. And then there's this pause, and they say, uh, yes, okay, now you have control of the conversation, so you can start that process. But that's an example, one mm-hmm. example. You ready for my sports analogy? Oh, dude, I can't wait. Okay. So, you, you know, play any sports. It could be football, it could be basketball, anything. You can always talk about when coaches say, oh, they're not in shape, they're not ready for game speed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the same way with insurance on the phone. Like, you may feel like you're feeling good. You may feel like you're ready. But once you actually get in the game, you're like, holy mackerel, I can play pickup ball all day and I feel fine. But as yeah. soon as I'm in game intensity or game speed, I'm exhausted. I'm not in game shape. How do you get into game shape? You play the game. Play the game. Can mm-hmm. you get in game shape in practice? No. Not really. Not really. Right? You so, can get close. but yeah. yeah. So when it comes to on the phone, mm-hmm. a lot of people... They just want to be on dial sessions. They just want to listen. They just want to practice. They just want to yes. read the script to their spouse a million times. But that's not going to give you that game experience or that game mm-hmm. shape that you yeah. need. The only thing that's going to help you guys is to make 400 dials, <laughs> yes. is to fumble on the phone and get hung up on, mm-hmm. is to talk too fast and get hung up on, then talk too slow, get hung up on, <laughs> and then find that perfect pace that works yeah. for you. Yeah. And then... You know, fumble through the cell. You're going to figure it out, but you have to put yourself in the game to get in game shape, to get the game experience, so then you can get the winning results. And that is really our third third piece here is picking up the phone. 
and that thing can weigh it feels like it weighs 400 pounds like it does and I, i'm telling you from experience like hey this is a new process and every time i try a new lead you know i got the carrier pigeon leads those are intense man yeah. those are great the birds flying into your room yeah. dropping them off yeah and uh I'm trying this thing and I put it out on Zoom. Oh boy, you know, my people are going to watch this. I feel that same thing, that weight. Chris, the thing I like, like about you the most <laughs> is that literally in our Slack channel, you throw it out there, dial day, dial yeah. session. Mm -hmm. And you just turn on your Zoom and let people watch you. Yeah. Watch you mm -hmm. in your process. I mean, how powerful is that where you can jump on a Zoom and watch this happen yeah. live and be able to model that? Yeah. And can, sometimes can it's boring it? as heck. Oh, dude. It is. <laughs> It can be for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask for some transparency here? Mm -hmm. Is there any part of you that, when you do the Zoom, it almost forces you to to pick up the phone because you're doing the Zoom it's and like people a are watching? Function? For me personally, no. I'm giving you the full honest answer because I would do it regardless if yeah. I had Zoom or not. As much. Um, I, I'm, I'm more focused on my work while I'm doing it. I'm more intentional yeah. on what I'm doing mm -hmm. when I'm on Zoom, but. It, I would still do it if I'm not on Zoom. So Is that do you following me? Yeah. Well, also yeah. you're also a unicorn. So um, you, you have <laughs> you have fear, but you you address fear and and you attack it. Yes. And you mm -hmm. put yourself vulnerable all mm -hmm. the time, and that's what that's what I like about that. But I would say, what what role does accountability play with maybe a group or people when it comes to phone sales? Because you could feel very alone and mm -hmm. it's really, 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 really easy to not dial the phone. Yeah, I think that's uh, a big part of this. And this is why I I want to see these these call sessions with, with, you know, with the people on our team because I don't want them to feel alone. I think that can, I mean, we say this all the time that, that winning happens in community and failure happens in isolation. Yeah. That's, that's what happens. People, you can tell when somebody feels like they're losing they recede. They're just like a, a hairline on a 56-year-old man. It's really, it's going away. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly, over time. You can Sometimes <laughs> it's on those 24-year-old men now. That's right. Yeah. 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 Unless you, you're LeBron, you can get a little sod on the fairway up top. It'd be good. <laughs> but that's what you, you see, the, the slow departure versus saying, hey, I, I know the feeling, guys. I know mm -hmm. the feeling of saying, hey, I'm jumping on the Zoom. Can can we, we even have breakout rooms? Can we jump into a breakout room and I want to do some calls and you can help me? Oh, like that doesn't feel great, but it does feel great. Yeah. Like it should feel uncomfortable. Well, well I think that leads to our third point about the opportunity here mm -hmm. in straight talk is that you really need to have a mentor. Yeah. And you need to have some training or a training room or a training group, Correct. a mentor group yeah. that you can plug into. So if you're on your own and you don't have that support, reach out to us. We'll get yeah. you connected. We'll get you connected with leads. We'll get you connected to a mentor group, a training group so that you can see the process. And then you have this built-in accountability. People like to operate in groups. That's you, reach out, and yeah. we will get you in one of those so that we can get you connected uh, to people who are winning in this. I mean, Chris, when you when you bought a batch of, of leads, digital leads for like 20 bucks a piece last week, and you're over the weekend, then uh, Saturday, Sunday, and then literally Monday morning when we're launching our, yes. our launch call with our entire agency, mm -hmm. You're like, yeah, I'm just wrapping up a sale. Yeah. <laughs> I got a message from you, and I go, okay, no problem. We'll handle this part of the call. And then like 10 minutes later, you're in your car driving into the office, and you go, yeah, I did 4600 over the weekend. Like 4600 over the weekend at a decent contract. Mm. Guys, if you just did that once a weekend, every weekend, and you took the other five days off, it's you're going to make hundred and fifty dollars to $200,000 a year. It's like, I don't know if you just heard what I just said there. <laughs> you can take the rest of the week off. Do that on the weekends. That's what I've done this week. And yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Come on, nobody Adam, else is look, laughing. We got to laugh at Adam out of that one. <laughs> that's an uncomfortable. Laugh. No, that's a, I probably, played golf. I didn't. You're you probably know. in your sweatpants. I was. <laughs> yeah, and and you can do like all the TV broadcasters, and they, you know, what's on the bottom is not what's shown. What's on the top is. <laughs> so right. it's like, yeah. Um, but that's life changing stuff. It is. And the thing I like about you is that you just mix it up, and and even on Saturday, you're like dial session yeah <laughs> appointment session throw it out there and then people can get on and watch you do that yeah. We've that's had powerful fun with watching you actually process a sale is is also a powerful and, experience and so. i want to see i want to see people engage in that and do the same thing mm -hmm. it can't just you know that's that's the goal it's this this transfer and and that mentor coach 
um, the thing that makes this work is you picking up the phone and doing the thing. Like, do the thing, you'll have the power. You've probably heard that before. We've talked about that. Do the thing, you'll have the power. But picking up the phone, getting your leads, and getting into a flow. But it's really the script and you that makes it successful. There's no magic script. It's it's the script and you. Mm-hmm. And and sometimes, you know, you can feel like you're you're at the the mall of America and you're trying to figure out where this, this store is and you have no idea. So you're just wandering around and you just need a map. Like, how do I get there? And you, and you find the thing that says you're here, you need to go there. That's what the coach and mentor does is help mm-hmm. you because that, that insecurity can transfer so easily over yes. the phone. Especially when you're, when you're looking at that, it's easy to go negative over one call session oh, of two 100%, hours man. or one day or <laughs> yeah. an appointment going sideways or a handful of appointments going sideways. You can't look at this as starting brand new and have an expectation that you're going to write 21,000 on your first three phone calls. Yeah, you know, Understand that this is a process, that you're going to get mm-hmm. better and better each and every phone call. You're going to understand and look at your results over a month mm-hmm. instead of, a two hour point or yeah. a day or two days or a week. Yeah. You know, and look that only, at everything at a month. And that and that really comes from linking arms with somebody who can help you see that. Yeah. Right? Because otherwise it, you're looking at it and you're and you do feel that that insecurity. You do feel like, oh, it's you like start to question yourself a little bit. If you're by yourself, you your head it plays games and tricks on you, you know? Yeah, it's like that time, again, I told this story before on this podcast, I jumped off the cliff, and I did it the first year by myself. The second year, we went higher. My (laughs) son-in-law was there. My daughter was there. They went first, but because everyone was there, and they went first, even though you still get the butterflies, it makes it easier to go. (laughs) It makes it easier to go. Well, they survived. Other people are doing it. They're surviving. They're winning. I'm winning. Great. We can do it, too. We can do it, too. We can so do it together. There's a there's yeah. a there's a part of that. One of the things that we didn't talk about here that I like to wrap up with, and, and we'll we'll conclude on this session today on this straight talk about telesales, is products. There's there's going to be there's going to be some stuff you need to learn uh, right. so that you can get um, acquainted with how an e app works, mm-hmm. how an application process works with a certain carrier. Uh, there's some carriers out there that have really exploded into this area. They've made some really cool things available. Uh, to make things simple, um, Chris, any carriers that come to your mind that you've been working with that are that are easy that are benefits wise for yeah. the client, mm-hmm. um, and then access and, and ability to, to get applications processed yeah. in a fairly uh, fairly seamless way. Yeah, there's uh, as far as benefits, there are some carriers out there that are doing great things with uh, the addition of living benefits that are attached to the policy. If you mm-hmm. had you know, a heart attack or a stroke or active cancer with a chronic illness, critical illness, you could access a portion of the death benefit to live off of. And, you know, we're seeing great stuff from from companies like Americo, from American Amicable, uh-huh. from from Foresters. You know, we're, those are the ones that are kind of the kind of rise to the surface with these great products. There's some return of premium options with Americo. Yeah, you know? cashback Cash options. Cashback options if, uh, after they pay for the term. So great stuff. Um, as far as ease, like uh, I think we're going to see more. I think coming up, as far as e apps go, I think we're going to see some more easier um, uh, signature processes. I know Americo is releasing one this month with right. a text feature. Right. So previously, you used to have to send the email to yeah. get the signature. It's they're, a code now instead of a signature. They're now releasing it with yeah. a text with a code. That I is that makes it super super oh, simple. I'll tell you easy. guys, and even this weekend, I I had to do some <laughs> tech support coaching on how to sign the e-application with some folks. And you just mm-hmm. have to be prepared. You have to know what that is yeah. yourself yeah. to be able to explain it. But I will like, say this, guys, <laughs> some advice for you all. Do an e-app or walk through the whole process on your own yeah. um, so you know what it feels like before you get your first sale yes. on the hook and they're dangling there and then you can't do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, because you, I mean, it doesn't take long. And I think some carriers, I think even Americo does this, where they have a full dummy website that you can actually go through an Dude, entire piece. <laughs> my production, my production on the practice website is like a hundred thousand. Dude, you might qualify for something. Right. Yeah. It's unbelievable on that practice. You're going to get that you first bonus, buddy. That's going to be <laughs> the, a big one. Those mind policies are being sent in the mail right now. It's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's like my youngest daughter Ashlyn. She's she's uh, doing her, you know, she's she's taking her drivers. She's oh getting, yeah, she's yes, very been... close to getting her driver's license. But 
She's got her temporary one, right? Mm-hmm. And so, and whenever we go anywhere, Ash is like, "Can I drive? Can I drive? Can I drive?" And the answer is always yes, because I want her to learn while I'm there with her, mm-hmm. so that she can practice in real environments what this is going to feel like. It is real. Yeah. I'm there with her though, guiding her as a as a coach in her ear. But I know that someday soon here in the next couple of months, she's going to be doing that on her own. And it would be weird if I said, uh, Ashlyn, you know, as soon as she gets her permit to go do a test drive for, you know, to go drive a car for the first time, here's the keys. Let me know when you get home. (laughs) Like, I mean, that's a nightmare, right? Yeah. So that's an accident waiting to happen. It's the same thing with you. If you don't understand one or two or three of these products, Mm -hmm. you don't need a million. You don't need 10. Right. You don't need 10. You just need two or three products that that have good features and benefits. Some of the ones that we've mentioned, there's, there's... Others like uh, for simple, easy applications, Aetna, CVS yeah. product is yeah. really, They're really simple product. For, for older folks um, that you're pivoting to a whole life uh, yeah. opportunity. They have a, a signature question. I mean, it's really yeah. simple. That's a key word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Mutual of Omaha has some, some great products. So like there's, there's different companies that have um, uh, good benefits. You only need two or three. Learn how those process works. And feel comfortable with it, so that you're not getting a call from an agent like you did and say, "I couldn't get the app. Applic- I couldn't oh, get the e app yes. to load. I couldn't get Heart the e app to load. Mm-hmm. I had the client on the phone, and I couldn't get the e app to load." Well, it was just something simple, something mm-hmm. very, very simple. But in the moment when things are happening, and you're clicking the wrong yeah. button because you didn't practice it, and you're stepping on the brake instead of the gas, <laughs> or vice versa, like it's not going to go well. It's that competence <laughs> confidence relationship, and yeah, and uh. Unfortunately, over the phone, that's communicated as well. And yeah. if you don't have it, then yeah. And if you need help with that, reach out. Yeah. There's a there's training uh, there's training uh, websites and modules that you can take and and learn on all that stuff. So but I would say those are the four things, get, man. Get the boat in the water. Well, first get leads, get a script, get a coach, and pick up the phone, man. Pick up the phone. Just start. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes, but you're gonna win too. So. Go do it. I think you just did the wrap. I don't need to. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, that was All right. Good. No worries. <laughs> All right. He closed it out. There you go. We'll see you on the next episode of the Life Insurance Academy podcast.